Good evening. The fighting in Gaza is ongoing. Ground and armored forces continue to strike terror infrastructures in the Shati refugee camp. Today they arrived at the from TC Hospital, I was joined by international correspondents. We exposed the terror infrastructure in the hospital. We'll now expose what we saw there and we'll prove to the world how Hamas turned the hospitals into its terror machine. We will show to the world how Hamas holds weapons in the hospital. We also have a f suspicion that in the hospital, some of the hostages were kept for some of the time. Israeli hostages were at the Rantisi hospital, and that is under investigation. We know this also based on intelligence that validates this. The world needs to know what happens in the Gaza hospitals and work against the war crimes of the Hamas ISIS. I will now show the evidence from Gaza where I joined an operation inside the Rantisi Children Hospital. I went to the hospital with a video camera and personally documented more concrete evidence. The concrete evidence are that Hamas uses hospitals and in, as an instrument of war. Underneath the hospital, in the basement, we found a Hamas command and control center, suicide bomb vests, grenades, AK-47 assault rifles, explosive devices, RPGs and other weapons, computers, money, etc. And we also found signs that indicate that Hamas held hostages here. This is currently under our investigation, but we also have intelligence that verifies it. Additionally, we found evidence that Hamas terrorists came back from the massacre on October 7th to this hospital, among others, after butchering Israelis in their homes, executing the innocent, murdering entire families, burning babies, burning young women alive and uses this children's hospital or Antissi to hide. Hamas hides in hospitals. Today, we will expose this to the world. For the last week, we have been conducting an effort to safely evacuate the patient being treated there and in other hospitals as well. Israel helped the hospital manager evacuate the Gazan patient to a safer hospital. Yesterday, we were informed by the hospital that the last 18 patients in the Rantisi hospital had safely evacuated to a safer hospital. This is because our war is against Hamas, not against the people in Gaza, especially not the sick, wounded, or the women, or the children. Our war is against Hamas, who uses them as human shields. I will now share the raw footage that we filmed a few hours ago, proving that Hamas systematically runs its terror machine under hospitals in Gaza. This is the Rantisi hospital. Next to the complex, there is a school, but also there is a terrorist. One of the head of the terrorists is one of the terrorists from the NAVO, Commando, he's the commander of the Naval Commando Unit of Hamas. And this complex is next to the hospital Rantisi. I'm talking about yards, short yards. What we found, and you will see in the video, that there is a tunnel next to the terrorist building, which has solar panels above it, next to the school, and next to the hospital. We're now trying to indicate the route to the tunnel to the hospital. We're investigating right now with our engineering team. But we have evidence that this tunnel goes to this direction. In the hospital, in the building that located in red, we have revealed Hamas infrastructure in the basement. We're still under operation that searches other floors in the building, and this operation is still conducting. I will show the video right now. 
This is the area where the tunnel is being dug, next to the school, next to the hospital. They are building those tunnel specifically next to this sensitive location. A robot is being down to the tunnel. You see the panel, the electricity panel, and the wires going underneath to the tunnel. It comes from the energy, the solar energy in the house to maintain energy into the tunnel. Instead of this energy, you see this, this is a covered tunnel, which has a ladder more than 20 meters down, and then we have a door, the robot found a door. It's nothing else but a terror tunnel. We're still conducting and investigating this tunnel, but all its infrastructure indicates this is a terror tunnel built next to a hospital and next to Rantisi. This is Rantisi Hospital, a children's hospital. This sign says it's for cancer, for the ones who have cancer. In this building, you see the terror infrastructure. Now I'm gonna show you. Click. This is the tunnel. Click. Okay, now we, this is Rantisi Hospital in the basement, in the building I've shown you. Hamas have created a location inside the hospital who will be disconnected from the rest of the hospital. Inside this room, there is an armory with grenades, vests, bombs, RPGs. In a basement, was supposed to be a basement for children to hide in. Hamas took all this area under his control and conducted his war against Israelis from this hospital. These are serious gear that even take a risk for the patients inside the hospital. These are explosive, these are bomb vests that you see in the film here, for terrorists to hold a bomb vest on them in a children's hospital, next to hostages, as we presume. Click. Stop. This is a motorcycle like you have seen in uh, the day of the 7th of October. It also has a bullet inside it. And underneath him is something that we think that is part of a hostage uh, head, head, uh, Seret? Head branch. Uh, click. They brought the motorcycle inside the basement with a hostage, presume. This basement also leads to a place where we presume signs of indication that uh, hostages were being held. The, on this chair, we saw a rope, a chair, a clothes, and a pod of the health organization who gives money to this hospital. This is a war crime and a baby bottle above it. This is in the basement. No babies should be in the basement. This is a war crime. This is a crime against humanity. And we also saw an improvised toilets nearby. You don't build an improvised toilets in the basement unless you wanna build an infrastructure to hold hostages. We also find some baby stuff over there. And we're still investigating everything. We brought our forensic teams. They're on the way to the hospital to investigate all the evidence that we have. They, bought, they built a small kitchen next to a room 
that was hiding. This room got a ventilation from the outside, an improvised ventilation. And we assume that this area and this room were either for terrorists staying there or for terrorists and hostages. And we will show you the signs that indicate that. Nobody put curtains behind a wall. Why do you put curtains when there are no windows? Unless you want to fill something, unless you want to create a place that nobody knows whether it's in the basement or other place. And there there is this list with days, marks the days from the 7th of October and has the name that Hamas gave to the operation, operation of Al-Aqsa, of the mosque of Al-Aqsa. Has the dates, the numbers of the days that followed by, I don't know exactly what it indicates, when did they left this area, but you have to remember, we evacuate the hospital with the patients. They might have left with the patients, they might have run away, run away through tunnels, and we have signs that they had hostages with them. It's still under investigation, but there's enough signs to indicate that. I was there. I was thinking when I was there about babies, hostages babies, Israeli hostages babies, women, children. This is Hamas, barbaric, barbaric terror organization. This is Hamas using hospitals as human shield, as terror machines. And this is not the last ops hospital like this in Gaza. And the world should know that. That's a crime. That's a war crime. That's a crime against humanity. That's against international law. Who gives money to these hospitals? Who shares this hospital and embraces this hospital? Is helping Hamas effort. We're trying to shift the Gaza to a safe area in the south and reveal those hospitals as terror machine. And the world should know it and the world should not forget those crimes against humanity done to Israel. We will free our hostages from Gaza and free Gaza from Hamas for the sake of the people of Israel for the people of Gaza as well, and the world. Questions? I was just uh, with the fighters. I don't remember since all my days in service in 30 years such strength of the IDF. I saw tanks. I saw the best fighters of the State of Israel, reservists, special forces. I went with them into the hospital. We operated inside the hospital. We will operate against terror, to expose terror, to dismantle Hamas, to bring the, our hostages back home in any way possible, operational or intelligence, and bring about safe borders for the State of Israel. 